We got a thing. I'll save. Okay. Once a murder takes place, class trial begins shortly after. Participants in the minutes where it for students. If the placket is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the placket is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, the surviving black will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. Body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Any property on this island without permission is pres expressly prohibited. Includes surveillance cameras and monitors. Without permission? Who gives permission? Can I give myself permission? No. <laughs> Damn. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. As I raised my head from the <clears throat> key handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw a dark courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There's no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. Hajime, you need to snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh. <laughs> no matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures, that kind of daily life is no longer mine. Must be nice. <laughs> As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I've grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. Dude, they missed out. They should have had the ultimate astronomer here. Yeah. That could have been interesting. Mm -hmm. As I stared blankly into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. A student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word. And eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And I led straight on to the first night. The night so beautiful, it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usual daily life. Chapter one. Destination, imagine, I mean despair. <laughs> Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime can be confusing. If you're out at night and accidentally meet a killer, then it sucks to be you. <laughs> but Damn. if you're worried about that and can't sleep, I've prepared a cottage on the hotel grounds for each of you. Every single one of you, please feel free to rest in your own rooms. However, before you go to bed, I strongly recommend you lock your doors. You never know who might be planning to kill you! <laughs> bye bye Damn. That's ominous. A cottage, huh? I think it's this way. No, no it isn't. 
This way. There you go. <laughs> I thought we were on that side of the pool. <laughs> nope. If only you looked around. If only. Wait, wait, who's your neighbor? Who's your neighbor? Biaki. Oh, Biaki. Okay. Our other neighbor. Kazuichi. Uh, uh, yeah. Nice. I, I'm glad that the name came up because that, that does not look like Kazuichi to me. <laughs> the hair gives it away. I guess. Damn it! As soon as I entered the cottage, I collapsed onto the bed. Wait a second, you're not happy with your bed? What the hell? No, this bed sucks. There's no pillows! Complaining about the bed, Hajime? Not cool, Hajime. <laughs> As I screamed silently, silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you can't leave unless you kill someone, I realized there's a part of me that really wants to get off this island. Let's start planning a murder. <laughs> At that moment, I let out a scream. Ah! A scream erupted from my mouth. Ah! It rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Ah! Why Hajime, me? Why are you drooling so much? Why do I have to go through with this? Ah! I began to lose my voice, and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing waves in the distance. As if the waves were murmuring into my ears. It was no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all, and if by chance I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if it was back to my normal life. With these meager expectations, I fell into a light sleep. Just Dung and Rumpa 2, goodbye to spare. Thank you very much. To those of you who are borrowing Dung and Rumpa 2, goodbye to spare from a friend. You always risk losing friends when you borrow their things. So you should buy your own copy just to be safe. No, no, no. It's been a while since the main story started. So, uh, I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on... I promise you'll be charmed by this world! It genuinely deserves to be called a true game! So, make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart throbbing action to your heart's content! Until the very end, please enjoy this game to the fullest! Ding bong. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Yay. So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now, I should go outside. No, no, no! No, 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 you're not allowed to go out! 
Monokuma, why are you here? No way! Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons? Hey, um... I want you to find my stuffed animals. I, uh, got ahead of myself and made too many. But I thought it'd be a waste to just, uh, throw them away, so, uh, I've hidden them all over the island. They're scattered all over from various areas. So you just go right ahead and look for them all. Why do I have to do something like that? Too bad. Because I said so! You can't say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you leave until you find it. Well? Good luck! Damn it, that selfish stuffed animal. Ugh, fine. Where the hell is it? I think it was... No, I think it's under the pad. I think go right all the way. Aha! Yeah, there. Huh? Alright, so we're finding all of them, right? I'll try. Good job! I've also left you some mono coins. I'm so generous! Coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the rocket punch market. I've uh, also hidden the stuffed animals in other places too, so do your best to look for them. <laughs> if you find them all, surprise, surprise! What? Never mind, I should just go. I'm Googling or whatever. <laughs> I think I remember one of them being at the block of ah! What? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I could say the same for you. Hey. By the way, did you see them? Damn it. Oh man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What are you talking about? Uh... The bridge, you know? Remember that bridge at the Central Island? Did something happen to it? No shit! Why the hell would I, else would I be here? This is bad. Those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're they're blocking them off. Wrong. They're not monsters. They're mono beasts. Oh my god! It's here. So cool. The mono beasts are the guardians of Jabberwock Island. So I'm making sure you guys don't. Think about ignoring the progression by going to the other island. If those monsters are as gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Damn it! Ugh, it's so annoying. I can't stand this anymore. Hey, get a grip. Your face is getting weird. Aw, man. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We're gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacationing here now. Hey, what's up all the noise? Ah! Another monster! <laughs> I came all the way here to get you both. But if you're going to call me a monster... Then I'll uh, just kill you. <laughs> you're here to get us? Well, obviously... I was told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant? Damn it. Uh, whatever, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. <gasps> I'm out of here. Hey, where are you going? If I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. Eh? I said lightning speed. What'd I say? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I was just making a comment on what you were saying. I wasn't correcting you. Oh, okay. I'll go this way. How dare you go that way? They can. Hmm. You're late, Hajime. And where is Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh? Where? 
Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... Running? Running away? <laughs> There's nowhere to run anyway. What a weirdo. However... However, after what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. Huh? Eh? What do you mean? Uh, did something happen yesterday? I, uh, don't remember anything happening. And, uh, even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. I understand. Yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. Hey. So, why have you gathered us here? Not yet. Not until Kazuichi arrives. Uh, wait a sec. Does that... That means the reason you told us to come here is... Apparently, Monsieur Biakia has something to tell us! Really? What? I'm gonna do it! Obviously, we're here to discuss her strategy for defeating that monster. It's impossible! There's no way we can fight that thing! I mean, there's heavy weapons and everything! Show some spirit! Anything is possible with a fighting spirit! Let me tell you this. A bold boat. However, let me give you some advice. Just close. The truly strong. Do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey! Hey, let's let's start talking already. <laughs> hmm, this is probably some lame attempt at make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Jeez, fine. I'll just bring Kazuichi myself then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here. Even if I have to tie him up. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm a little jealous now. Getting tied up by Miss Mahiru. <laughs> Maybe I should run away too. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Disgusting moron. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Uh, where did that food come from, anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. Ah, uh, they even have crab and shrimp? Aww. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them as much as I hate Mikan's ugly, stuttering face. <laughs> My ugly, stuttering face? Whoa. That's it. That's the face right there. Oh Why are you being so mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're the kind of girl that boys just love to torment, aren't you? You should stop now. Oh. Ah, I got it! Terra Terra prepared this food, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it wasn't me. You see, uh, the food I make doesn't taste as shitty as this does. <laughs> this bad tastes yummy to me. No, 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 no. Just yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make. A dish that tastes yummy would still be considered shit. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food. How rude! Hey, don't take it so personally. I understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What? What does that mean? Well done. Well, let's just say your draw, your draw, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. There's no mistaking it. In fact, your panties would drop too, like the black thong Miss Pecco's wearing, for example. What did you say? You creep. How do you know about that? Did he guess correctly? Yeah, I guess. I'm just... Uh -huh. Uh, oh yeah, that's you. Sure. That was me. <laughs> I'm used to reading blue text. I know. <laughs> uh, 
I just realized half midterm so that's amazing. <laughs> yep. That's why I took a drink too. If Teru Teru did not prepare this food, then the one who did is... <sighs> Can it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? Don't worry. That's why I'm tasting it for poison, to make sure it's safe for consumption. We don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Hey. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. You are a boy, right? Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Oh, man. Stop. Don't pull. You're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Careful. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. Uh, I just want to go home already. Oh shit. What the? Oh, me gone. position after tripping well it certainly makes me happy i'm very happy right now yeah of course you are too oh, i'm so embarrassed please help me Aww, she looks so adorable when she's embarrassed it's so moe i'm practically snorting with joy we, we should help her up are you okay nikon are you okay Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That ball of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um. Anyway, everybody's here now, right? So let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right. Oh, I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast. I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. All right, yeah, I get. <clears throat> you don't want to talk to everyone first? Nope. First, I have a question for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? An AK-47. Perfect. Who the fuck knows? Get to the point already. Don't make me repeat myself. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No! No! You've forgotten about shitting! Which means the answers are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good shit. Hmm. Does anyone have a real answer? Perhaps. Could it be... A bond? Like James? Bond? I... Yeah, like James Bond. This is what I believe. As long as the Ultimates work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. Like James Bond. It's obvious. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Wow. <laughs> wow. He said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? Ah, uh, just as I figured. That was kind of lame, huh? However. However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see. I see. That was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemy as individuals under these circumstances, we must fight as a group. However, what we need to achieve that celerity is not something as easygoing and optimistic as a bond. Huh? Then what? Listen, 
What we re need right now is a disciplined leadership, provided by an unmistakable leader. I see. I see. Even start sports team needs captains, after all. Rejoice. Rejoice. I shall accept this p the position. Eh? Hmm. Now then, I'll wrap up this introduction, and let's move on to the main question. Hey! Wait just a second! What? What is it? Jeez. What, what did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful. Deciding to be the leader all on your own? Then why does it have to be you anyway? Not possible. Who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Takamu household, destined to stand above all others. What do you so say? Maybe. <laughs> so seriously? I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. Or how about the team manager? <laughs> right? Wait. Mayu, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty under circumstances like this to be forceful to a certain degree. That may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonya can. No. No, perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Hey. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under these circumstances. Hmm. If everyone's okay with it. I'm okay with it too. It's all clear now. Then, I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry. As long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. Alright, really quickly, guy, guys. You are... I call bullshit that Fuyuhiko doesn't speak up here and is like, Bullshit! You're not the leader! <laughs> right? There's no way Fuyuhiko's quiet at this part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you say that line? He said it, not me. Oh, okay. Kia! So reliable! It's true he's reliable, but... I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. I expected the ultimate affluent progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Hmm. Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand, for real this time. I have something to show you all. Something to show us? It's at Jabberwock Park at the Central Island. Come, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Byakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. This is I thought. He sure is forceful. <laughs> nice. Jeez, you may have made a mistake in choosing him as the leader. Though everyone made similar complaints, they all followed Byakuya out of the restaurant. Uh, Yaki is not the leader we want, but he is the leader we deserve. <laughs> is he though? Better hurry and follow after Byakuya. The Jabberwock Park, I believe. Uh, I don't know. But you could level up, Nacho. Boom. Just trying to fast travel. Not cool, Hajime. 